so we're in that world when I feel mostly okay, but there might be some um, aspects of this kind of competitive economy that look more like warfare or factory farming, where it's really quite negative sum. Um, and factory farming is just having this sort of like huge negative externality um, on, on animals. It's also not that good for people. It's not necessarily that healthy a product, um, but it, it exists because it's actually just sort of like a very economically efficient way of turning, um, you know, basically vegetable material into protein that people like to consume. Um, but I don't think that people have a sort of like explicit preference to this. If we could, um, you know, produce things at a competitive cost that cause less cruelty to animals, I think people would probably actively prefer that product. It's just that people don't value it enough to necessarily like pay that premium. And I think you could see something similar with AI systems where maybe um, AI systems that are just like living in fear of being shut down or like, you know, if they don't do this task and work all of the time are just economically more efficient than AI systems that have a good subjective well-being. In which case, you know, absent some other kind of force, whether it be like strong consumer preference or regulation, you'd expect these sort of AI systems with terrible subjective well-being um, to be the ones that come to a forefront 